blur most happens most often uh, if you're, you know, your hands are shaky, if you're moving when you're taking a picture. So go ahead and, and stop yourself, you know, breathe deeply, uh, and then you know, press the shutter and take the photo. Uh, sometimes you want a little bit of motion blur, uh, like in landscape photography. Uh, you can, you know, any kind of like river or waterfall, usually the water um, is really, really soft and smooth, which means they're using a slower shutter speed to get that kind of blurred effect, which is really you consider beautiful. Um, sometimes you don't want everything really crisp and sharp and frozen. Um, um, so with these photos, uh, the first one, you really don't want motion blur because the, the details of what's important are the people's faces and you don't want the faces blurry. So um, if you can adjust shutter speed, bump it up. Um, if not, just lock yourself in. Um, that'll give you some more stability when you're taking a photo. Um, the third photo is, is nice because you, you don't have the motion blur. They're nice and clean. Um, and also, what I like is, is they're closer together. You know, um, in design, we tend to try to push the negative space to the edges. So having the two subjects uh, close together helps our eyes focus on them. Um, and there's not a bunch of big negative space in the middle. So I like the third photo with, with the closeness.